good morning. Thank you for attending. As you know, uh, on Wednesday this week, the Parliament adopted the Recovery and Resilience Facility, the biggest building block on the next, uh, of the next generation EU recovery uh, package. Uh, this morning, uh, President Sassoli and Prime Minister Costa signed the Legislative Act on behalf uh, of the Parliament and the Council in the presence of President von der Leyen. Uh, they will now comment on this uh, following which uh, there will be time for a few questions. Presidente Sassoli, prego. Sì, grazie. È stato Thank you. There's no doubt the fact that President Costa is present in person is very important. He wanted to come to sign this historical act in person and the presence of President van der Leyen in Parliament today with us as well to make it clear that in Europe we are concluding a phase today, making available to the countries, the cit our citizens, our companies, resources and capacity and targets for the recovery. We've always said that the recovery needs to be a European one, that it needs to include everybody. And over these months, we have worked to ensure that our response is for everybody. And today is the day where, with European legislation, this work comes to an end. Now it's up to the European parliaments. Let's hope they too will work rapidly to ratify own resources and the emission of bonds and the funds will be made available to the countries for reinforcing the union and for our recovery. Thank you. Good morning. At last, we have a twin engine, a vaccine to save lives and a vitamin to boost economic recovery. Now we need to accelerate vaccination and it's up to us to put recovery in motion. We are fighting for health and jobs at present, looking into the future. We are investing today in climate action and the digital transition for the EU's next generation. This is the most innovative plan we have ever had to manage the most challenging crisis we have ever faced. Now we can be sure it's possible to eradicate COVID and it's possible to build a fair, green and digital recovery. It's time to deliver. Member States must conclude the ongoing process of ratification of the own resources decision. Once this regulation is published next week, we have to start the formal negotiations of the national plans with the Commission. And the depth of the crisis calls for urgent action. We must take up the ambition to, of having the first plans approved by the end of April. What our citizens expect from us are concrete results. Jobs, prosperity, well-being. We must all rise to the bold and precedent and ambitious political initiative which brought together the Commission, the Parliament and the Council. We cannot afford to waste more time. We cannot afford to fail our citizens. So, let's deliver. Yes, thank you very much. But first of all, I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Council and Parliament for uh, the final adoption now of the regulation. This is indeed a very historic moment. Um, as you said, Antonio, uh, we are fighting this pandemic and the severe health crisis with the vaccines. The vaccines are our ally and hope. But we should never forget the second enormous crisis we have. This is the economic crisis. And there, our ally and our hope is next generation EU. 
750 billion, 750 billion to support our citizens to keep their jobs, to support companies to stay in business, and to support communities to maintain their social fabric. And this indeed next generation EU is our ally in this fight, and it is our hope in this fight. It is also a unique opportunity for the member states um, to work together on our priorities, the European Green Deal, the digitalization, and resilience. Next generation is more than money. It is a ve very strong message of solidarity and of trust in the European Union. Because what is true for the virus is also true for the economy. No member state on its own would have been possible to master this economic crisis just on its own and alone because our single market is so deeply integrated that we have to join forces. And the integration of the single market is the basis of our prosperity. So joining forces, enabling the Commission to raise money at the capital market and then together invest it in Europe, that is an act of joint wisdom and an act for trust in the European Union. Now, indeed, we have to honor that trust. So all three of us are calling all on uh, all member states to ratify the own resources decision as fast as possible. And in parallel, of course, we are working intensely, intensively to get um, the national recovery plans ready. So it's time to deliver, indeed.